And so that's sort of what underlies the basis of a lot of the math that we've done, is this idea that crime is sort of almost like a communicable disease, maybe in some way, you know, someone gets it and it spreads to neighbors, they spread it about. Or it's like earthquakes, you have an initial earthquake and you have aftershocks, you have after crimes, these crimes that occur afterwards are caused by the initial crime. And they found that in this first example where the alleyway is nice and tidy, clean, no graffiti, that a majority, about I think two thirds of people deposited their waste in the garbage can, they did not litter, okay? So the researchers go back uh, the next day or you know, sometime later and they put graffiti all over the walls, they maybe put some garbage on the ground already and they do the same experiment, they observe the people and they find that it, the number of people that litter doubles, okay? Now, because they're in a disorganized environment, they feel other people are breaking the law, they're writing graffiti, they're throwing things on the ground, so I will as well, okay? And unfortunately, this is how people are. Um, they tend to behave, you know, the worst way they can get away with in some senses. <laughs> So suppose you break into a house and you're successful, okay, and then now the next week later you, you need some more cash, so you're going to break into another house. Well, <clears throat> it's a lot less risky for you to go back to that same house again. You've already been there, you know the security, you know they're not home, you know, et cetera. You've been in there before, you know how to bypass whatever the security they may have. Uh, so, so you're likely to re-victimize the same people over and over again. The idea behind the routine activity theory of crime is that most crimes by volume, maybe not by severity, but by volume, are not premeditated crimes where the person really planned it out and had this elaborate scheme for what they were going to do. Instead, they're crimes of opportunity. People are going about their daily routine. You know, maybe this guy's walking to work or something and he sees, oh, that person left their window open. I'll go peek inside there. Oh, look, there's a stereo. And he grabs a stereo and leaves. I mean, it's not, it's not something that they're doing, uh, especially because they want to commit a crime, necessarily. It's just something that comes up. The opportunity arises. They're predisposed to maybe not care about committing crimes, and so they do it. And that's